everyone. You have been chosen to take part in this brand new experiment about Buig construction values. Each one of you will compete in a test that is very specific, which will transport you into a different world. Once the test has been completed, you will come back to the laboratory to let your teammate take over, but only on condition that you have passed the test. If not, the competition is lost. <clears throat> well, I will now call the first one of you. Pierre, you are going to start. Well, I think you are going to have to lead the investigation. Don't be afraid. Stand here. Hi, Julie. The accident took place this morning. The person injured is Matthew Delgat. He was hit by one of the sight vehicles. The driver's just been brought in for questioning. What can you tell me about him? The driver's Frank Dumont. He's 52 years old, married with two children, 20 years in the company with a clean record. His colleagues say he's a valued member of the staff. I see. I will question him. Mr. Dumond, do you know why you are here today? You think I'm responsible, is that it? Mr. Dumont, I'm not here to accuse you of anything. We are here to find out what happened this morning on the construction site and what caused the accident with Matthew Delgado, who is currently injured in the hospital. It's not my fault. What I want to know is, what was he doing there anyway, that guy? He had no business being there. That bloke, as you say, is the new cost, cost controller. controller or not, he had no business being there. So what happened? I don't know. Yet you were there where the accident took place. I'm telling you, he shouldn't have been there. It's an area forbidden to pedestrians. Were you on this vehicle this morning? I have rights. I won't tell you another thing until I have my lawyer with me. Perfect. So did he talk? No. He said the guy had no business there. He was agitated. He asked for a lawyer. He's hiding something from us. It's typical. He's afraid of being punished. I don't think it's that simple. Does he have a history of problems? A few problems with alcohol. That was a long time ago. He's redeemed himself since. This new incident could cost him his job. That's another reason we can't chance it. We need to run a toxicology test. It's already been done. We've had all the people present on the construction site in for testing. I'm sure he caused the accident. By ignoring bad habits, he must have been negligent regarding safety. The expert said he's just had problems with alcohol. He must have been drinking. That's why he wants a lawyer. I'm not so sure he seems sincere. On construction site, accidents are caused by little things. Here we are. We have the results of everyone's tests. Nothing to report. However, there was one person who acted strangely. He was particularly stressed, and I'm not sure it was because he saw the needle. Okay, call him back in. We'll question him this afternoon. We'll go back to the site. We must have missed something. So this morning, the cost controller was to see the site engineer at the site facility. Yes, let's go. What's that doing there? That's not right. No idea. <sighs> certainly give us answers. We need an access badge. Wait, there must be a way to call someone. Look, there's a camera. We must take these videos back. We could find something out from them. If these pallets were there when Matthew Delgado arrived, they obviously went through here. We must absolutely watch these images. Look, they're on the map. The place of the accident's marked. Best to be expected is the traffic zone marking. You can see it here. Julie? 
A delivery was scheduled this morning. Could it be the pallets at the entrance? We should check. Why'd the delivery person leave them there? I don't know. But the video will certainly give us answers. I'll get it right away. Here. I found the video from this morning. You can clearly see Mathieu Dagat. And? He had the same difficulties as us in getting in. He actually went another way. Must have been in the wrong place at the wrong time. And the pallets? They were delivered this morning. The delivery boy tried to get in, but he turned back when he saw the place was empty. It's pure orange juice like it says on the label. But it wasn't the driver who drank it. It's another guy from the site who we took samples from this morning. Thanks. Good work. Thanks. We'll question him. Now? Yes, now. Where were you at the time of the accident? I, uh, I was laying the formwork for some colleagues. You think so? I told you I was working on the formwork. Did you get in the vehicle? What vehicle? No, I didn't get into any machines. Do you know what it is? So, uh, orange juice? Exactly. And do you know where we found it? No. How would I know? In a rubbish bin? Ah, but you should know. The DNA tests are formal. You drank from this bottle, and you left it inside the vehicle. The vehicle which caused the accident. I I'm sorry. It, it was an accident. We were all on the edge. We fell behind schedule. We were looking for Frank. He left his forklift in the way. I thought my boss was going to blow his fuse. I wanted to be useful. So I went to move the vehicle. But he saw me, and he knows I don't have the right license. It was just for two meters. Two meters, which were enough to send your colleague to the hospital. Mathieu Delgado is out of the hospital. He will need a bit of physiotherapy. Didn't end too bad for him. You see? You can't say there was only one person responsible. Security on site depends on all of us. Everyone shares the responsibility. Everyone should act for himself and others. What a good job, Pierre. Thanks to you, you have helped your team pass the first test. Bravo. Like any other accident, this one could have been averted. A single human intervention could have changed the course of events. Exactly. Now it's your turn. Come on, you're not going to just stand there, huh? <laughs> <laughs>